Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, extrude a profile with the intersect option. Um, it's part of uh, activity 5.5. So you can open the sample file intersect.ipt and um, go to the extrude command in your ribbon. And now, depending on which version of, um, of Autodesk Inventor you have um, and how you have it configured, you may get the old style dialog box like this or the new style marking menu like this. Um, so uh, th you can do you can um, do this uh, activity using either one of these but just be aware that the dialog boxes are the old style and they're probably on their way out and the marking menu is the new style on its way in. So in future versions of um, Autodesk Inventor, you may see the dialog boxes go away completely. So first of all, you'll notice um, when you click the uh, extrude command, um, you'll see it's going to automatically select the uh, profile, the ellipse here, and extrude it vertically um, upward um, in a you know additive mode. Well, that's because the default setting is join, which is the top button here in the um, dialog box or if you click on the marking menu it's the default here join at the top but what we want is intersect and if you select intersect then it'll automatically reverse the direction and intersect it with the existing uh, uh, cube but notice it doesn't go all the way through the cube so what we need to do is um, tell it that we want it to go all the way through so in the marking menu up here on the top left you need to select the distance so click there and you just say through all and then over here in the dialog box it's under extent so you click all do the same thing and then you just click OK and you'll notice the uh, what you have left is the intersection of the two uh, uh, extrusions